Hi guys. If you've ever been overwhelmed or easily distracted by iPhone notifications, you're not alone. Maybe you've used Do Not Disturb before, but what about focus modes? It can be confusing what each one does, but today I'll break down the difference and show you how to use both in plain English. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll share a quick tip about blocking those annoying spam calls. So what's the difference between Do Not Disturb and Focus Modes? They're both designed to help you stay in control of your notifications, but they work a little differently. Do Not Disturb is the original. You turn it on and it silences all calls, messages, and alerts, unless you set exceptions. Focus modes are like upgraded versions of Do Not Disturb. You can create different profiles like work, sleep, personal, or even create custom settings. And you choose exactly who and what can reach you during each one. You can also change the look of your lock screen and your home screen based on what mode you're in. So in short, Use Do Not Disturb when you need a quick silence button. Use focus modes when you want recurring control of what comes through your iPhone. To turn it on, quickly swipe down from the top right corner of your iPhone and you'll get to the control center. If you want to turn on Do Not Disturb, tap the moon icon. If you want to get to more settings and allow some people or apps through, then tap the word focus and go to settings. You can go back and tap to turn it off the same way. By default, it silences everything. You can also go to settings directly and then tap focus and then tap do not disturb. You can allow calls from certain people or groups. You can allow alerts from specific apps you can set a schedule, like during these hours I'm sleeping and I don't want any calls or texts to come through, except for maybe mom. Here you can even change your lock screen and your home screen when Do Not Disturb is on. So even though it's simple, Do Not Disturb gives you more flexibility than it used to. Now let's talk about how to use focus modes. You can go to settings and then focus and you'll see options like work, sleep, driving, personal, and more. Or you can create your own focus mode. So we'll tap one like sleep and you'll see a few key settings. During your sleep time, you can allow certain people to still get through. They can still call or message you. You can also pick which apps can still send notifications. Like I have it set to only allow my banking app to send me urgent notifications during sleep hours. You can also have your lock screen and your home screen change based on your do not disturb or your focus mode. There's also the option for focus filters. You can filter mail accounts, Safari tabs, and more. You can also schedule each focus to turn on automatically, like work during the weekdays or sleep at night. Let's go ahead and create a new focus for driving. We'll go to settings and then scroll down to focus. and then tap the plus in the top right corner. That's where we're going to create new. And then we're going to tap driving and then customize focus. So you can decide who can get through while you're driving. You can customize the auto reply that people receive if they text you while you're driving. The default says, I'm driving with focus turned on. I'll see your message when I get where I'm going. You can tap that and make edits if you want. You can also choose a home screen and a lock screen 
during your driving focus. And you can decide if you want it to turn on automatically when you're in a car or you want to turn it on yourself manually. You also have an option to activate with CarPlay. I don't have CarPlay, so I won't turn that one on. When all the settings look good to you, just tap the back button. It may seem like a lot, but when you set it up once, it just works in the background and you won't have to do anything to make it turn on or off. Here's a few other things to know. To link a focus to your lock screen, you can long press on your lock screen. Swipe to the screen you want and tap focus at the bottom to link them. You can switch focus modes from the control center by pressing and holding the moon icon or focus. You can share focus modes across your devices. So if you have it set on your iPhone, it can also activate on your iPad. If focus feels like too much right now, no problem. Start with do not disturb and explore more when you're ready. I'm gonna leave you one last quick iPhone tip. There seems to be an increase in spam calls recently. You can help this a little bit by blocking the calls that you get so they can't continually bother you. To do this, open your phone app, tap on the Recents tab, and then tap the I next to the call you want to block. Then tap Block Caller. If you make a mistake, you can tap Unblock Caller. If you want to see the whole list of blocked contacts, you can go to the Settings app, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and tap Apps. Then tap on the P for Phone. Tap the Phone app. Then scroll down and tap on Blocked Contacts. If you see a number on the list you want to remove, tap the Edit button in the top right corner. And then tap the red Delete button. This will remove it from the list of blocked callers. That's a quick and easy way to reduce some of the calls. So that's it for Do Not Disturb and Focus Modes. Whether you just want some peace and quiet at your fingertips or full control over what gets through, now you've got options. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and check out my other iPhone videos for even more tips to simplify your tech. Thanks for watching. See you next time.